One thing I think has to be pointed out early is that the city council doesn't decide whether there is an income tax or not. The voters of Ann Arbor will decide whether or not there's an income tax. All okay. the council does is decide whether to place it on the ballot and let the voters decide. In the absence of additional income, the stuff that we have to do to balance the budget is just draconian. Uh, and we've already seen, even in consideration of this year's budget, most of the conversation was about what's planned a year from now. Yes, we want to raise income, but we don't want to we want to do it in a manner that doesn't overburden an already overburdened, um, you know, uh, citizen. More than 60% of our general fund revenue comes from property tax. Uh, the number of other options that we have to pay for general fund services are state revenue sharing, which is on the decline. The other part of this is uh, we have a, a, an investment portfolio because we have to keep cash in the bank. We invest it very carefully. Typically, we have anywhere from a half a million to a million dollars in investment income. This year, we expect that to be somewhere around 100000 uh, The rates that we're getting on investments right now are in less than a single digit. Uh, there are a number of things like that. As we look at this, the burden continues to be on property owners to pay for local government services. Uh, in our city, there are over 75,000 people that commute every day uh, into work who do not pay for uh, any portion of their services unless they happen to be one of our finest on the street. That's a lot of what comes up by, by residents is, you know, our property taxes are high, service levels seemingly are either uh, at a standstill or, or being reduced, and, um, you know, why aren't others, either individuals or institutions uh, paying their fair share and that's always been a tough question to answer and I think at least the income tax is uh, is an option that we can put in front of them for their consideration uh, there is already a proposal right now in the next year's budget to reduce uh, 14 FTEs from the fire department which would be a significant reduction maintaining that existing service level would obviously be an expense that income tax revenue could help cover uh, it's another good example of a service that individuals who commute into the city but don't pay any taxes uh, utilize. What I started hearing from my residents uh, after Pfizer was acquired by the university was that those who had always been interested in this but it just kind of put it aside because it wasn't a hot topic, that for them put it back up on the list. It, it didn't necessarily change their mind, uh, but it made them say, uh, you know, we got to start talking about the income tax again. And I have received overwhelming email correspondence and even knocking on doors talking to people who say absolutely we should have this dialogue. Of the, the city of income tax should not be viewed as this panacea for all ills because even if this was to be put in front of voters and they did decide that this is the way they wanted to go, we still are going to have our, our challenges. If not to, you know, today or next year, then certainly two, three, four years down the road which brings in some of these other sort of um, uh, issues that have to be dealt with uh, in terms of uh, accommodating uh, uh, potential costs and cuts in services like the firefighters and so forth. So. Uh, the majority of our municipal property tax levies are voter approved by people in this community. The Parks Millage voter approved, two Parks Millages I should street say, millage. the Street Millage voter approved, yeah, the Greenbelt part of that voter approved. Uh, these are voters in Ann Arbor who have said, when we value services and we see the merit, we will tax ourselves. And that's the argument we've got to go out and make and say, in this case, you know, there's a shifting. Uh, some people will pay more, some people will pay less, but the net result is that we can protect the services we have.